didn't bring it up front in previous years about saying your teams are best when it's eight or seven, eight, nine guys out there with as many options as you have. How much do you stay up at night thinking about how you're going to get all these guys time? Or I'm worried about developing individual players. How do we get each one of these guys better? How do we uh, put them in the best position to be the best version of them? We're figuring it out right now. Some guys are playing better at the, the front court. Some guys you can move to that swing position. Some guys you move to the swing. They're not doing as well, so they have to get in this gym. I mean, we're right now, you got guys at 11 o'clock at night. you got four or five guys in here. And so they're, you know, the guys that have watched the practice and the one or two of you that know anything about basketball, when you watch it, didn't get that? I'm surprised you said two or three. I said one or two. <laughs> <laughs> that you'll see that they're not backing down from each other. The young guys are competing. The older guys are coming. Um, they're not getting bogged down in one play. They know they're going up and down. Issue right now, we got no subs. So when we go two hours, it's fully a two-hour practice. I'm not doing much on defense. I'm just trying to get them offensively trying to create a good shot each time down the court, trying to get uh, them to play off of one another. We're doing a little defense. Um, we'll do some pressing, but probably not as much as, as I wanted to do during this time. But um, it's been good. I mean, again, these young men come here because they want to be developed as players. And as you develop them, they want to be on a team that they enjoy playing with, and then they want to win. But let me explain. That's the order. And the other way around. We can all think that's why, you know. And so our job, and we stay focused on it. I'm not, I don't get off point. Um, process takes time. And, uh, but I think they're doing, they're doing pretty good right now. I mean, uh, I wish Trey and Willie were playing, but they're not. And that gives us a chance to really get other guys a really good look and gets them to go. But at the end of the day, uh, those two are going to be a big part of what we do. Kari and Carl have had a couple of those battles we talked about in practice, just going right at each other, back and forth. What do you have in, in those two big guys? Well, Dakari's lost weight, and he's, he's, he sees a challenge, and he's going for it. And, and Carl's way better than I thought when I saw him in high school. I mean, I coached him a little bit, but he never got in games. It was mostly practices, and we were playing so many games. He really didn't, you know, he really didn't do that much with the, the, the national team. So, you in high school you saw him, you know, whoop, you know, he had, he's got a ways to go now. And what I'm seeing right now is a very active player that's skilled and runs better than I ever thought he'd run. Uh, and that's now without really getting into the season and doing anything. So. Dakari's lost weight. He's running better than he's ever run in his life. And, uh, but it's great because every time either one of them backs up, they get scored on. Or they get rebound on. Like, ah. like, you're learning that every possession matters, and you cannot give up on a possession until either they get the ball or you get the ball. They're learning right now. You stop playing, the guy you're guarding can probably score. He'll go back door, he'll move to an area, he can shoot it. And that, that includes the guards. They stop playing, they get scored on. And so it's, uh, that's what has made this, uh, you know, pretty good. But let me, let me say, we want to talk about the 10 practices. These guys have played pickup before, you know, when I was out, they were playing every day. Now, I haven't had many teams in my time that would call each other together because one guy wanted to do his own thing and Another dude was a goofball, and these three were serious about it, and they were mad at this guy, and they just, ah. These guys play just about every day they can play. Now they're not because they're, they're, they're running up and down for two hours. But prior to this, they were, they were playing. And then you don't have to do as much conditioning. You don't have to do as much of the two hours a week. As long as you're getting up and down the court and playing, it's, it's, uh, it's a good thing. John, how do you balance the extra work, as you say, and you know, how much they want to play with the, the idea of a long, extra long season? That's why we're going to two platoon. You know, there may be one game that I'll play eight or nine guys, but uh, short of that, we're going to five guys in, five guys out, switch rotations, do all those things. 
And again, I'm going to let the assistants coach many of the games, uh, mainly because I don't think we can win those games. So, <laughs> let, them, let them take the yeah, let, You know, what happens to these guys, whether we win or lose, they're hungry after the game. I'm taking L on national television to see how hungry they are then. <laughs> Trying to teach them. <laughs>